windy day, so my hair's gonna get all over the place. I mean, I could have tied it up, but I just don't want to, okay? <laughs> Anyways, I'm Sammy, you can call me Smeeper. I stutter, so yeah, that's over and to the done with. Anyways, today I'm gonna book with you. They both die at the end, and you're probably thinking, what? Did you just spoil to me that they both die at the end? Nope, that's a title of the story. I was so curious when I ordered this from Amazon, thinking, oh, okay, they both die at the end. This is something unique from an author to just spoil it as a title. So I thought to myself, whoa, this has a lot of reviews, lots of five stars, a thousand people have ordered this. So I was wondering, well, what? They're two guys for teenagers and they get a call from this company in a way called The Death Cast is that they call people and say hello we're sorry to inform you that today you're going to die today and I thought whoa this concept is a bit unique and quite interesting as a plot because imagine you have only 24 hours to live and you don't know how you're going to spend it. Matthew decides to like install the app the last friend app and what that is about is that they go on the app to find other people who are going to pass away today because they got a call from the death cast that they're going to die. He would rather talk to someone who relates to that scary story instead of someone who's just on that to be horny and trick them and to act like they feel so sorry for them when they don't know what it's like that like you only have 24 hours to live for. He finds someone called Rufus on the app and Rufus is already someone who seems quite extroverted. He wants to like just quickly video call Matteo. I hope I'm pronouncing this right, Matteo. I've never had a friend called Matteo before, so I don't know anyone called Matteo, so I hope the pronunciation is right. Video calls Matteo to make sure he's not a catfish because he wants to quickly meet up with this person to find out who they are. Um, and Matteo is like, whoa, this guy is like so confident already. He wants to like meet up with me as soon as possible. And because Rufus is like, yo, yo, like let's meet up right now. I can cycle to your house and we'll just have a lot of fun together. Well, when I mean fun, like not that's not the second type of fun, you know, guys. Um, the fun where just hanging out, eat lots of good tasty food and have a good 24 hours to live for and Matty is like okay sure come over and he gets so scared thinking oh gosh what did I just agree to he's coming over is that actually him <laughs> well yeah he did video call him Rufus is so like pumped up for this and Matty opens the door and sees like oh gosh it's it's Rufus and they decide to like just go out and Matteo wants to see his bars in hospital that his bars in a coma and Rufus is like sure let's go there then it's like a, quite a good plot to just make you think that to die at any time and you have to treat like every day as if it's your last day on earth so imagine if I was I don't know about to get heart attack right at this moment and I'm just recording this well at least I'd be happy that at least <laughs> I reviewed the storybook like even though it's not my favourite books out there at least I was doing something I was passionate about Aww. okay and now I want to move on to the critiques I think my opinions are going to be so extremely controversial because everyone's like so hyped about this book saying oh my gosh it's such a sweet book I cried so sad and I'm gonna say like I didn't cry and you're probably thinking whoa are you okay are you heartless why didn't you cry I didn't cry because 
I just felt like I wasn't that emotionally invested into the characters. I feel like I have it all on my notes to make sure I'm, I'm going to remember what I want to say. But I want to say that the first point would be that I had a problem with the title. I feel like, yeah, the also was trying to be like very unique with it. Your characters are going to die at the end, and that is just very like a good move, I guess. Like as a power play, that Speed is always going to find out. Like, okay, why did he title it? Like, and spoil it as his title because that's something unique because I feel like as I was reading it as I was playing the page I was thinking well I'm near the end of the novel are they going to die soon or because I was on the edge I, I was ant anticipating it but as a reader I just want to like know that there could be a way that they could cheat on not passing away like maybe there's a way to get out of the system that surely they could find a way to change the fate which clearly wasn't about that and I f yeah and I feel like if he if the author Adam Silvera just changed the title and made the reader think maybe there's a chance and I feel like that would be more emotionally impactful thinking oh okay they couldn't find figure out a way about that so second controversial criticism for me, I'm sorry I'm going to be controversial because yeah as a disclaimer you don't have to agree with my opinions like everyone's going to have their own preferences and thinking no Sammy I don't agree with you this title was a shocker for me I'm happy with that okay that's your opinion I'm not going to force anyone to believe what I want to believe in. So second controversial criticism I had was that bottles on the, the concept of this company like who are these people why are they calling them up to say they're gonna to die like how can they tell is there like a crystal globe or something i would have want, wanted more exposure or should, I say, or should i say closure on that area because if i finish reading a book then i want to know that my important questions were answered i didn't receive well i didn't think i received that closure in that aspect thirdly like yeah it's just like the same point a second one that i felt like the company of, was a bit cringy that i wanted to know like how did it all started have people been telephoned for a very long time was it over like 100 years ago that i found out about this or not but no and i wanted to say that i felt like there was just too many repetition of the chapters which was a bit cringy <laughs> i want it coming from me i felt as though it was too cringy to, for the author to repeat a lot about oh person x is not going to pass away today because that dad's cast didn't call them person y will pass away today because person a got the call today <laughs> okay i think i just muddled up my alphabet there but you know what i mean but like I don't know about the secondary characters and hey I'm, I hope everyone can appreciate this meme I here like I made this meme to like portray how much this story could have been a lot shorter or much more improved if the author just removed the characters like I don't care about because I'm sure that I would have review that there's someone else who felt the same way as me that they didn't like the secondary characters mentioning in every chapter that are we supposed to be focusing on Rufus and Matteo that this is a, their story like who cares about these secondary characters when I don't care I'm not gonna sh cry or, or be impacted in any emotional way of, of them passing away or not because I don't know them like sure it's sad like of course like everyone wants to like just do something with their lives and when I say everyone well I guess majority in that aspect frustrated and walked off on this and Matthew was thinking oh this is so unfair like all the teenagers are gonna pass away for for hours and then there's other adults in the because this isn't about teenagers passing away this is about other ones no matter the age category I think well I don't know about toddlers or infants but I would have been curious like what is a lot what's the youngest person who got called by this company that they're gonna pass away that they've got 24 hours to live that would have been interesting 
angle to that, but that wasn't like entirely clear in the book. I felt as though it was just average storytelling at its kind of finest, that it wasn't anything that made me feel emotional or cry because I feel like the, the concept was so interesting, like, oh gosh, the title, oh gosh, 24 hours to live, oh gosh, who am I going to spend it with? It was just quite average, like, I don't know, like, I wanted to care about Matthew and Rufus, but I felt like they also didn't make me care, like, sure, you only got 24 hours to live, but I felt like the character development was too quick and too fast, and he wasn't touching on more angles to them, I guess, in a way. I found that Rufus's constant yo-yo was so cringe, like Rufus being the child of it being yo, this Matthew kid is cool. I find I find that too much of like the author trying too hard to make Rufus like seem like a really child guy. Well sure you can say yo yo like once or twice but if you keep on repeating it too much in my opinion in the chapters I feel as though that is too cringy of the character. It's like the swag era when people would say swag a lot, like swag this, swag that, swag, 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 you know? I feel that the yo should have been taken out more, like, I don't care, it's just making me feel like overall just trying too hard with Rufus's character when he can just be a civilized human being instead of the yo because if I was writing entry I'm not gonna keep on saying yo yo like I miss a lot of sentences I'll just avoid it and I know that's I want it come from me because I know I'm cringe I'm a cringy person I can be so you should take it from me that if I'm cringe then I would have a, a detective idea on what it means to be cringe yeah I feel like that's pretty much all my criticisms I feel like, like the, the novel was too overhyped. I feel as though it was a good moral, of course, because it's very convenient, especially living in these coronavirus times that you don't know when's going to be a last day that someone could get the virus and they don't have long to live because it can be really fatal. I think maybe that's why the story was spiked up with a lot of sales, that people wanted to order this novel and see for themselves. And that's how I felt about it, that I want to feel appreciative of this life and making the m most out of it. And it is a good more, you should probably give it to someone who feels pessimistic because I can see this appealing to someone who wants a good moral, like, because as a positive, like, I really appreciate it. And that they also use quotes for each chapter, and that was really nice and really flesh, fleshed out because I do appreciate when authors use quotes from famous figures and I felt like I had to force myself to continue reading the book because I felt like it was just felt like a drag to read that I want to continue reading it to see if I'm gonna actually cry because if the author says this book is gonna make you cry this book is gonna make you think a lot I just feel like this is like a forgettable story in my opinion like I'm not gonna remember this story because I feel like it was average of course, when the characters Matthew Reefers died at the end, I just felt like, oh, okay, that's sad, that's it. I didn't feel like I was going to cry for weeks and weeks over this. And I don't know if it's because I'm not as emotional on this. Like, maybe if I was 13 or 14, I would have been more, much more emotionally hitted by this. Hitted a word. Hitted. Hit. <laughs> But yeah, in conclusion, it's not the worst story out there. It does make you appreciate life and how it's unfair that people want to have kids, people want to get married, people want to see other countries in their lives they've never been to, but they've only got a short amount of time. Because I remember seeing this BBC news story back in December that this woman's like not sure dropped my phone. Sorry. And I was saying there was a BBC news article of this woman being frustrated that she's not able to see anyone for Christmas because she's got a terminal illness so she hasn't got very long to spend the next Christmas to wait a year that she may not make it till the summer and that's sad and scary when you get when you're told you only have a certain, certain time frame to live for that's what, what makes you think of the story that it's a good moral at the end of the day but 
I just feel like it was average storytelling. It wasn't anything to make me cry personally, but I do appreciate that you also touched on this. That of course teenagers think about sex. It's normal. Sex is normal. And well, yeah, consensual sex is normal when you're, you know, same age as the person being adults or near adults, you know. They want to explore sexuality and get to know the person. The sweet thing, Matty and Rufus started to care about each other, but I feel like it was too rushed that I don't know how it happened so soon. Like, it's probably the concept of love at first sight. You're in love, <laughs> you know. I hope you find this review helpful. If you want to order it for yourself and find out what's the hype on this book, then feel free to do so. You can comment below what you thought about it if you want the book yourself. Until next time, take care everyone. Goodbye. <laughs>